WTFNN. Headline news update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in Clearwater, Florida. It's Thursday. It's 9 a.m., 30 minutes until that opening bell. Let's check in on the markets as all major indices are are higher, continuing the trend of the week. Dow futures up 222 points, trading above 25,000, 25,085. S&P futures up 16 points, trading 2713. And NASDAQ futures up 38 points, trading 6725. You get the NASDAQ and the S&P up each about six tenths percent and Dow futures up about nine-tenths percent. So we jump over to the VIX as this market all week has been climbing higher. The VIX all week climbing lower back into the teens. We're at 1795 for a low this morning, 1852 currently. We'll see where that shakes out. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform, check in on some of the futures markets with about 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. Start things off with the S&P 500. We were higher at about 5 a.m. Eastern time, the highs of the pre-market session, about 27.18. We trade down to about 27.06, and from there, we're up about another seven points, 27.13. We had jobs number, 230,000 jobs coming out at 8.30, putting a little bit of volatility, but not too much action. S&P 500 currently 27.13. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar pattern, higher kind of at the pre-market, 5 a.m., 4 a.m., up there around 67.40. We trade back down to 67.08, around that jobs number. From there, we're up a bit, uh, 67.27. Dow 30, similar action, 5.25, 5.30 a.m. Eastern time, up around 25.150. Trade down all the way to almost 25,000, so 150 points down. We're up 75 points from that level, 25,076. Crude oil struggling a bit from the highs that we had. Of course, we had the EIA inventories yesterday in crude. The overnight session, we trade all the way up to 61.50, let's call it. And from there, we're down about a buck 30, $60.20 as it continues to slide as we speak. Of course, this morning, we'll have the natural gas EIA, EIA excuse me, numbers at 10.30 Eastern time. I'll be back live on the air with Tom for those. Gold, quite a day for gold yesterday. Check that out. So, of course, we had the news coming out with CPI inflation data yesterday morning at 8.30. Gold spikes all the way up above 13.50, up to about 13.58, trading 13.54. And Bitcoin almost made it above 10,000 in the overnight session, 99.65, currently trading 96.83. Stay tuned. Larry Pesavento coming up right now, and I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks so much.